How's it going everyone? My name is Prab. I make videos here on YouTube related to filmmaking and photography. So if you're someone new here, definitely consider subscribing. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys top 5 tips that will allow you to shoot better top-down videos and it'll help your video work to stand out from other people's work. But before starting, I quickly want to give a huge shout out to Replica Surfaces for sending in these awesome backdrops for me to check out. But for full disclosure, they did not pay me or sponsor this video in any ways. But I am going to be using these backdrops for the top down shots in this video. So if any of you guys are interested in checking them out, I will leave a description. I will leave a link in the description down below. So with that being said, let's start off with tip number five. That is, make sure you have something sturdy to put your camera on for these top down video shots. You don't want something flimsy or finicky to be holding your expensive camera gear while you're filming. For this, you can either use your tripod if it allows you to extend the center column horizontally, like the Manfrotto 55X tripod, which easily allows you to switch the orientation of the center column for recording such top-down shots. I personally rather prefer to use a C-stand, which gives me a lot more control and flexibility to adjust the type of shot that I want. And these things are also very sturdy while holding your camera gear, which gives you the peace of mind while working with the subject of the video down below. Moving on to number four, make sure to align the camera properly with the plane of the surface that you're going to be shooting on. If your camera angle is not looking straight down, it can lead to some pretty weird looking footage that is not pleasing to view and can also make your viewers feel uncomfortable. So what I like to do in this case is first turn on the grid lines on my camera and then I would put a rectangular object in my frame after that, I adjust the camera's perspective until the edges of the object align properly with the camera grid on my monitor. Speaking of monitors, that is my tip number three, which is to use something to monitor your video while you're recording. Now this ensures that things are going the way you want and it gives you a comfortable experience while being in the process. For this, you can either use an external monitor, which will give you a really nice image quality to look at, or what I prefer to do is connect my smartphone's camera app with the camera. Now that allows me to monitor what my camera is recording and it also allows me to change essential settings without having to go back to the camera every single time. And number two, I would suggest you guys to use a very soft source of light coming from directly above your camera's frame. For this, I like to use a big LED light panel which already has a good enough surface area, but to get an even softer source of light, I shine it through a big 5-in-1 diffuser to get this very soft kind of light. Uh, now, secondly, in order to fill in these shadows over here, I like to have my Godox SL60W shining through a softbox to fill in these shadow regions. Now, as of right now, the shot kind of looks very bland, so what I like to do is add a little small LED light over here with a different color temperature that gives me a very nice color contrast in the overall shot. And finally, at number one, make sure to have something interesting in the camera frame that is both visually pleasing and is relevant to the topic you're filming about. For example, if you're shooting about a camera, maybe you can put a lens in the frame or something that will help you to create the right environment for your subject. Also for this, you can use different backdrops to further help your subject stand out in the shots and achieve the type of look you're going for. Like in this case, I'm using the weathered wood replica surface, which really helps the video to get that aesthetically clean look. Another good thing about using these surfaces is that they don't get wrinkled and they're also waterproof. So if while filming you drop or spill something, you can easily clean it with a piece of paper towel. Furthermore, not only can you use these backdrops for top-down video shots, but you can easily use them to create small miniature sets that you can use for product or food photography. So these were the top 5 tips in my opinion that will help you to make better top-down videos. Let me know if you guys found this video helpful and if you did, consider hitting the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. So thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.